iterate with JavaScript do while loops. The next type of loop you will learn is called a do while loop. It is called a do while loop because it will first do one pass of the code inside the loop no matter what, and then continue to run the loop while the specified condition evaluates to true. So here we have our example. We have declared a variable r array as an empty array. Variable i has been assigned a value of zero. And we have here our do, which has a block of code that inside um, states that the value of i will be pushed to the end of our blank array, which is our array. And i will increment by one each iteration. And we will do all of this while i is less than five. So the example above behaves similar to other types of loops and the resulting array will look like zero, one, two, three, and four. However, what makes the do while different from other loops is how it behaves when the condition fails on the first check. Let's see this in action. Here is a regular while loop that will run the code in the loop as long as i is less than five. So we have variable r array declared as an empty array. Variable i has been assigned a value of five. While i is less than five, our array will be pushed the value of i to the end of it, and i will increment by one. In this example, we initialize the value of r array to an empty array and the value of i to five. When we execute the while loop, the condition evaluates to false because i is not less than five. So we do not execute the code inside the loop. The result is that our array will end up with no values added to it and it will still look like, a, like an empty array when all of the code in the example above has completed running. So let's visualize that real quick. We'll take this code with the while loop and the, as the condition evaluates to false. Oh, <laughs> and copy correctly. There we go. And we will log variable our array into the console. So as you can see right here, since the condition has evaluated to false, i is definitely not less than five. It is currently equal to five. This condition is false. So we get the same empty array we had at the beginning. Let's continue reading. So here we have another example with the do while loop in which our i variable has been assigned a value of five as well. And we have inside of our code block for, for do, our array will be pushed the value of i to the end of its array, and i will increment by one while i is less than five. In this case, we initialize the value of i to five, just like we did, just like we did with the while loop. When we get to the next line, there is no condition to evaluate. So we go to the code inside the curly braces and execute it, this code right here. We will add a single element to the array and then increment i before we get to the condition check. So i will be incremented by one before we get to this condition check right here in our, in our while statement, which is while i is less than five. When we finally evaluate the condition i is less than five on the last line, we see that i is six now which fails the conditional check. So we exit the loop and are done. At the end of the above example, the value of our array is five, just a single number value in the previously empty array. Essentially, a do while loop ensures that the code inside the loop will run at least once. So let's check this code right here in order to visualize it before we get into the challenge. So we've pasted this code right here and we will log into the console our variable, our array. Oh, also log our array. So here we can see that even though i is equal to five and our condition is as long as i is less than five, which this definitely is not, the do while loop 
will always run the code inside of it at least once, even if the condition is false. So as we can see here, variable r array was previously an empty array. And our condition is as long as i is less than five, i will increment by one and r array will be pushed the value of i. This condition checks as false, but um, a value of five is still pushed into the end of r array since the code runs at least once with this type of loop. Let's delete that right now and reset all the code in order to do our challenge. And where did we leave off? All right, essentially a do while loop ensures that the code inside the loop will run at least once. Let's try getting a do while loop to work by pushing values to an array. We need to change the while loop in the code to a do while loop so the loop will push only the number 10 to my array and I, excuse me, will be equal to 11 when our code has finished running. So um, here we have variable my array declared as an empty array and we have our variable I, which is equal to 10. So we need to change this into a do while loop. We need to change this statement right here to and this condition should go at the end. So we have do, what do we need to do? We need to push the value of i to the end of my array and increment i by one as long as, so while i is less than 10. And our semicolon to signal that we've ended our statement and let's log into the console our my array variable so here we pushed only the number 10 to my array using a do while loop thank you so much for watching and if this video helped you out in any way um, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, see you guys in the next one.